shooting at the U.S. Census Bureau headquarters in Maryland. The suspected gunman kidnapping a woman, shooting a guard, then leading police on a car chase that ended in more gunfire. ABC's Pierre Thomas is in Washington with the latest on all this. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, Robin. It was terrifying at U.S. Census Bureau headquarters with a running gun battle in the nation's capital. The violence began at 6.15 p.m. during rush hour. A suspect gunning down a security guard at the main entrance of the U.S. Census Bureau, just outside the nation's capital. Within minutes, local police and federal agents swarmed the scene, including snipers with rifles drawn. The neighboring metro entrance is shut down, and there are initial concerns that the suspect may be barricaded inside the massive complex that employs more than 4,000 workers. They told us to stay away from windows and to stay in a secure area, but we weren't allowed to leave. They had the whole facility on lockdown. Then reports surfaced that the suspect has escaped the scene, driving a green Honda sedan. A high-speed chase begins, the suspect firing shots as he and police race through D.C. I heard a crash and everybody stood up and rushed to the window. Police had their guns drawn, we heard gunshots, and uh, then everybody hit the floor. The chase coming to an end at 7.20, police crashing their patrol cars into the suspect's vehicle. They collided with the suspect here. The suspect again opens fire uh, on police and there's an exchange of gunfire between MPD and the suspect. Fears of terrorism put to rest as police discover the incident was a domestic dispute that came to a head with the suspect and victim in a car near the Census Bureau. When the guard approaches the car, the guard is shot. Overnight, the security guard died at a Maryland hospital. An officer was wounded in the exchange, as was the suspect. Their conditions this morning, unknown. Robin? All right, Pierre, thank you.